capable of carrying nearly 4,000 pounds with a 15 foot garage and a slide out kitchen. Folks, this is the 2022 Forest River Rogue 26V. So let's kick it off with the garage space. What kind of measurements are we looking at? Well, as I mentioned, folks, you're looking at a 15 foot garage. That'll be from the tail, basically up into the kitchen countertop. Now, mind you, it does have a slide. So during transport, this is going to come in a little ways, uh, but you can kind of see you know, how far it comes in because you can see exactly where the tie downs are. Now, uh, if you're looking for something that's gonna fill this back space, you have just under seven feet. It's like six foot, 10 inches from the back up to this slide. So that kind of uh, allows you to know, you know, again, if you have something a little bit wider, what's gonna fit back here, but you do have all that space going all the way up. Now, as you'd expect in a toy hauler on the sides, we have two flip over sofas with a queen bed up top. I personally like the bed system they use rather than having a happy jack, which is a power system. Uh, this one is <laughs> very simple. And honestly, it's pretty quick. So you have a handle on both sides, and what you kind of do is you pull it down, just like so. You'll do the same thing right over here on this side, pull it down, and there you go. Climb on up and you are good to go. And obviously with the rollovers, both of those will roll over, you'll have a bed down there too. You also have electrical outlets on both sides. If you need to charge your cell phone, sleep the CPAP, anything like that back here, you can do so. The ramp door does have a party deck. That's a huge one for me. Uh, it's one of the things I love when it comes uh, on a toy hauler. It's one of you know my personal criteria, and this one certainly has it. It's also very easy to set up the rail system. It is the Moor Ride. Uh, again, one of my preferred rail systems just because it swings out, clips in nice and easily. And you can see that it has a screen package on here too. That is a zipper in the middle to enter or exit, making it very simple to go out on that back patio. Or again, if you just want to drop it down, uh, have some airflow in here without bugs, you can certainly do that as well. You also see the window on this side this does come off it's a blackout uh, just um, you know take it right off there uh, all the way around you can take it and throw it in a washing machine um, you know just snap the buttons back on and you're done super simple and easy uh, I mentioned the electrical outlets there um, tie downs all the way on the floor underneath right and as I said so in the back you see you have three rows now you don't have any coming up here and for good reason because again that slide is going to cover that up but you can see the tie downs running all the way up front seeing as how this does belong to the Cherokee family that allows them to use things like the zebra shades which I personally really really enjoy they work super well it's weighted. It allows you to control how much light you want to let into your RV. Uh, and again, it's just very simple to use. You don't have to worry about tension strings or anything to that effect. You will see storage all the way across the top. I'll open it up just to kind of give you an idea, right? Not super deep here, um, but you know, it is good additional storage. I'm glad that they have it. Multimedia center there with an HDMI port right up front. Uh, and then, of course, all of your main controls will be on this switch right over here. You can see, uh, even though, you know, you have 4,000 pounds uh, or nearly 4,000 pounds, I think it's 3,800 cargo carrying capacity on this. You see, it does have a 2,000 pound max for the cargo area. So keep that in mind. Even though, you know, you can load stuff up up front and allows you, you know, all that extra weight for gear, you still want to kind of evenly distribute in the back and you don't want to overload it. Let's move across the way. We'll start on the slide out kitchen. So you'll see, you get the uh, Canon refrigerator right here. Open that guy up, show you what kind of space you're working with. 12 volt, super simple and easy to use. I personally like 12 volt refrigerators just because they cool down a lot quicker. Uh, those will run off your batteries. The neat thing about that is if you have solar, a couple batteries, you can run this bad boy almost indefinitely, which is why so many manufacturers are starting to go to 12 volt. Uh, also, you get more space in, in a 12 volt, right? For the, for the same box size, I guess you could say, you get more uh, cold space, right? You get like 10 cubic foot instead of like uh, six or you know sometimes eight in your gas electric refrigerator. So uh, again, big bonus there. Moving into the rest of the kitchen space, you have your recessed cooktop with a glass cover. That's three burner, of course. It's a graystone unit. The knobs do light up. This same button will also control the light in your oven. You have upgraded countertops, which will allow for a um, undermount sink, which I'll show you in just a moment, but you don't have any T-mold or anything that's gonna pop off, which is great. 
Uh, you can see, you know, again, that they're kind of highlighting some of the things here. And, and I hit a couple of them, right? The more ride, the quick set bed, the zebra blinds. Uh, this is a big one, and we'll see that when we go outside. But it does have a 30-gallon fuel station as well as generator prep. Another electrical outlet here, I like this because this is probably where I would put my coffee maker. Um, you know, I, I might put it over in this corner, but I think this is probably where I would have it. You can also see your hood up top, microwave, additional storage, more storage going all the way across here. Uh, you'll see your, a spot for a TV if you want TV. I do like where this is placed. A lot of times on toy haulers, they have to go on the sidewalls. I personally really like having it here because all of your seating is in the back, right? You know, you have your two sofas right back there. You can also get two optional chairs if you want. So if you want a couple extra uh, places to sit, you, uh, um, you can get that from the manufacturer. Or, you know, if you want to set up some portable chairs even that you can take outside, you can do that too. But either way, you're getting a great angle to the TV. Excellent prep space over here. Um, again, that's something that a lot of times is hard to find in a toy hauler, and I think the 26V absolutely nailed it. You get that uh, kind of beautiful oil rub bronze high-rise faucet there. They put this little bag on there because, as you can see, this unit has been winterized. Um, flush mount sink top cover. Again, I really like that because you can utilize that as prep space too. It does come with a soap dispenser. If you want to put lotion in there, you can probably do that as well. And if we take that off, that'll open up the sink. I love the color of this sink. It's kind of like that black stainless steel uh, has the apron front right giving a little bit of that farmhouse look that uh, everyone has loved lately and underneath you can see there is plenty of space for a trash can which I really like also you take a look over here there is a couple things that I want to point out one is your tank monitoring panel will be there but the other one is if you look right above that you will see heated holding tank switch and that's a big deal if you're looking to do some colder weather camping, that uh, you know basically has your 12 volt heat pads on there, so you can turn that on, and it will help prevent your tanks from freezing up on you. So if you're planning on doing some later season camping, it's a uh, definitely a big deal for you. Making our way into the bathroom, as you saw, there were two uh, doors here, one into the bathroom, the other one into the bedroom. We'll take a look in there in a second. I'm gonna take a seat on the toilet just to show you space. I'm you know a little over 200 pounds, six foot. I have plenty of space for both my legs, my arms. It is a porcelain bowl, which I love, nice and easy to clean. Uh, over to this side, you can see you do still get pretty good storage underneath there. Of course, plumbing access too, and a very large sink. This is one of those things that I think is often overlooked as a big sink, and I especially like it in a toy hauler because if you are taking you know toys out, if you're riding uh, bikes or dirt bikes or quads or whatever it may be, um, you know, and you're going to come in here and wash up. A lot of times, just wash your hands and your arms. If you don't have a big sink, you're just making a hot mess, right? This definitely makes it a lot easier. Same thing with like, even when you're brushing your teeth, uh, it just gives you more room without making a bigger mess. So uh, that's one of those things that, that I noticed that a lot of people probably wouldn't. Um, Reared medicine cabinet right up above. As far as the shower, Neo Angle showers, a lot of people don't give them credit. Uh, I personally like a Neo Angle in a travel trailer. Uh, it's very rare that you get a large, like, residential size shower, right? Fifth wheels, sure. Travel trailers, generally not. And Neo Angle, in my opinion, will give you some of the best space to move around. I can fully turn in here, use the hand wand, and shower up. Versus, you know, otherwise, if it is a, a normal unit with, like, a curtain, I, I'm fighting with that curtain the whole time, right? Like, it's all on my arm, and I, I don't know. I, I just, I don't like when I have to just keep hitting a curtain out, or, you know, if, if it's uh, just too short, and because I have hot water in the shower, you know, it starts lifting the curtain up or whatever. Um, I, again, I just really like these Neo Angle units with the uh, doors and the roller track. I also love the fact you have a linen closet in here. That's something, again, that a lot of times you just don't get in travel trailers. And, you know, more and more manufacturers are putting them in. But having a space for your towels and everything else uh, that you, you need in your bathroom, I think, is quite important. And then when you come into the bedroom, you'll see the bed right here in the center. Uh, flanked on both sides are your, uh, your wardrobes here. I'll open that up for you so you can take a look. And you can see your, your wardrobe space there. Uh, windows on both sides here as well. You have electrical outlets there. So if you need to plug in um, you know, a CPAP or a cell phone, obviously you have the capability for that. You also see, uh, because we had the, the uh, gen prep, you, know, you can see your controller for the generator right there. Um, wardrobe's on the side, storage across the top. And if you want TV, there is hookup for it on the opposite wall. So you can watch TV here in the bedroom. Now that we've seen the insides, take a look at some of the outside features on the 2022 Forest River Rogue 26 VKS. 
Starting off right up front is the power tongue jack, making it nice and easy to connect and disconnect from your tow vehicle, as well as making it much easier to level the RV front to back. Behind that are two 20 pound propane tanks with the cover. You'll see rails there for your battery. Uh, and just know this one does have a battery disconnect inside, so you can turn that to kill all power to the RV, uh, which is definitely a great thing. This one also comes with solar, which we'll see in just a second. I'll show you the uh, controller here in the front storage. Diamond plating helping protect that front end from rocks and debris that get thrown up by a tow vehicle. Also smooth aluminum front, which is great, nice and sturdy, also looks gorgeous, very easy to clean. Then coming along the side, of course, is the fiberglass sidewalls. Then we take a look in the front storage compartment. Again, a couple things I really like about this. One is the fact they have tie downs. I really wish more manufacturers would do this just because it makes it so much easier to carry stuff around, not have it rattle all over the place. You also see access to the storage underneath the bed. So you do have a couple different access points there. This is the table that will go in the back. Um, so, you know, again, if you want to carry it in here, you can, if you want to put it inside and transport it there, you can, but it is an indoor outdoor table, so you can use it either, either place. And then right there, you will also notice your, uh, your solar controller. So, uh, as I mentioned, this one does come with the solar panels. That way it trickle charges your battery. So when you are, you know, kind of out doing whatever you're doing, again, just know you can uh, be a little more reassured that you have that slow trickle charge. Take a look at the power awning. It's nice and simple and easy to use. Touch button, roll it out. Same thing to go back in. You have the LED lights on the side arms there. You'll also see the Rogue uh, More Ride Step Above Steps. So these are, this is a great step system. Um, you have the aluminum treads on there. More Ride really makes a, a nice step system here, folks. Uh, the, the main thing about it is it's just very sturdy, right? Like I'm over 200 pounds. You can you know, see me kind of hop on this thing and it doesn't flex. And again, the aluminum treads won't rust. You have the grip tape, adjustable feet on there, just folds up into the door to store it. And you can see right here, you get the uh, foldable grab handle for extra control when entering or exiting the RV. I do wanna drop down a quick second uh, just to talk about a few things. One of them is the fact this one has the fully enclosed, insulated and heated underbelly. Uh, and again, that's gonna be important if you're camping in the colder seasons. And as I mentioned, it also has those uh, tank pads on there. Now, does that mean it is fully good to go in freezing conditions? Not necessarily, and it's mainly because the valves, I'll show you that in just a moment. But if you're doing some late fall camping, uh, something like that, that definitely will help. You will also see the leash latch system. So if you have any uh, furry loved ones that are coming with you, you can tie them up right there. A couple speakers outside, hook up for a TV. Neat thing about this is you can just take the same TV you have inside, that mount will drop right down into here. And obviously your hookups are right next to that. Coming back a little bit further, this is the uh, 30 gallon uh, fuel fill, as I mentioned. So you'll have your nozzle there. Obviously this is where you'll fill it up at. This will be your pump on and off as well as your meter. Super simple and easy to use. You'll see it does have another leash latch right back here. So a couple different places you can hook the pups up at. Obviously you have your ramp right down here, right in the back here. Uh, as I mentioned, this one does have the party deck, which is fantastic. Right up top, you'll see a light as well as a backup camera there just to aid you uh, when you are backing up. Coming around to the side, 30 amp detachable power cord will plug right into there. And coming up to the front, cable and satellite inlet will be located up here. As well as your water hookups, you will see your fresh tank fill, your city water inlet, outside shower with hot water, black tank flush to wash out your black tank nice and easy, and a spray port. So basically all your water connections are right here. Now what I was talking about with Four Season and why it's not necessarily uh, built perfectly for winter is this right here. And what I mean by that is one, you have exposed piping as well as exposed valves. So if you're gonna be running water through here as things start to freeze, while your tanks may not freeze, these lot, any water in here absolutely can. Your tank or your valves can freeze as well. And so then you have what they call, especially in the black tank, a lot of times it's called a poopsicle, where you, know, you just have a big old chunk of uh, frozen black tank water and solids and everything else. Uh, and so for that reason, if you do plan on using it in winter, you, know, you wanna make sure you have like some heat tape, insulation, some other things um, you know, in order to do that. But for late fall, should be absolutely fine. And then coming around to right up front, last thing I do want to hit on, open this guy up. We talked about it earlier. This one does have gen prep. So if you want a generator, 
this right here is where it would go. And folks, that wraps it up. If you loved what you saw here, which why wouldn't you? It's a beautiful toy hauler, and you're interested in price and availability on this Rogue 26 VKS, all you have to do is click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.